This is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we will be learning how to use the split screen in Premiere Pro. The footage I'm using can be found beneath this video. So I'm going to double click on this clip here and then go to my effects control panel. I'm simply going to be making this smaller and scooted it over to the side. I'm going to actually just say 50% so that I know that it's right. So I want another view of these fighters right here. So let's find it. Here's some other clips of the fighters. Maybe this one. I'll just go with this one. This doesn't have any audio to it. I can see that the audio is shadowed out. But video only, I'm going to drag the video on top. I'm going to click on this top one, go back to the effects control, and I'll make this smaller. And then I'm going to scoot this over. I'll also say 50% here, just 50 so that I know it's the exact same size. And now this has a nice way of aligning this for me. Perfect. So now here is a standard split screen. If I decided that I'd actually like this left clip to become full screen eventually, as you may, you see this sometimes. So you're like right there, I'd like this, the, this clip on the left side of the screen to get larger and fill the screen. I am going to say position and scale. And then by the time it gets here, I'd like it to fill the screen. Remember, this is an action. So it's starting, it's gonna start filling the screen here, stop there. I clicked on the keyframe for both position and scale because I'm going to change the scale and the position of this in order for it to fill the screen. So maybe I'm gonna first put it in the center a little bit and then I will increase the scale. So let's see how that looks. Approaching the keyframe, it's gonna start getting larger, cover the other clip, fold the screen. Now, over here, it's a little unattractive, so perhaps I'd like this, the lower clip, or rather the right side clip, to fade out a little bit before it disappears. Pull in the bottom clip, and let's just look at that for a second. It just pops off. I don't want it to pop off, I want it to fade out. So I'm gonna click at the edge of it and say Command D. Maybe I want that cross dissolve to be longer. The timing for all of your transitions is a second. I'm gonna double click on it, the numbers and twos. The first two, num or the last two are frames, seconds, minutes, hours. So this is one second. If I were to click on it and just write 200, that's two seconds, zero frames. You might notice how much larger this got. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to make split screens in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.